buy a little souvenir. Actually, I, I bought it before. It was meant to be a joke. <laughs> Kiss me quicker. By act, the effect I have on fellas, it'd have to be quick before they drop dead. Let's have it back. It is our action. No, no. I shall wear it tonight. Might just get some offers. I'm sorry where things turned out. You deserved better. Deserved? Don't you start talking in the past tense to me, Fred Elliot. There's now past tense about Bet Lynch. Not now. Not ever. I'm not done with this world yet, whatever it tries to throw at me. Not to wear. Bye bye, Cruella. <laughs> Keep your eye on this one. Reminds me of me a bit. Try going blonde, love. Trust me. You'll never look by. <laughs> Don't miss your train, eh, Bet? Come on, Liz. Party going in Brighton. Got our name on it. And a warm welcome to another episode of the Kitty Secret Life with me, yours truly. Um, this is the last in the series. This is episode 449. So I thought, you know, I'll, I'll do this final episode just to tie in for the next one, which will be the 450th in about a month or so. Um, I'm standing in the same location. This is where um, Coronation Street's Bet Lynch made her last up-to-date appearance on the show as she departs for Brighton with Liz MacDonald. Um, but I've just found out as well, um, Judy Goodyear has sadly been diagnosed with dementia, which will progressively worsen in time. So I just want to say a massive, massive hello to Julie herself, if she's watching this. Hello, Julie. I'm very, very sorry to hear about what's happened. Honestly, when I read the news, I was absolutely devastated. I really hoped that you could return one last time because it would be nice to see Bet and Rita finally make amends, but obviously the, it's not going to happen now, is it? But uh, I think last time I seen Bet and Rita on screen was when they exchanged civilised words to each other in the Rovers. Um, yeah, so this is where Bet Lynch made her last appearance so she went with Liz MacDonald to the train station um, left Fred Elliott, Steve and Karen to bid a fond farewell um, and then that was when they sadly departed for the last time right let's go into Blackpool where Alan Bradley from Curry got knocked down by a tram chasing Rita exact location has man come down here? yeah, is he a friend of yours? get the police what? Get in the car. I'm taking you back to Weatherfield now. Get in the car! All been looking for you, and I found you, and I'm taking you back now. Get in the car! Go back, you stupid ah! bitch! It's okay, it's all right. It's all right, Rita. It's over. It's over. 
But uh, at least I went on the ride anyway. Oh, also a massive happy 60th birthday to uh, Angie Brown. Happy birthday, my lovely. And here is a special birthday message from another female uh, host of mine, lady number 16, Miss Leslie Joseph. Over to you, Leslie. Hello, Angie. <laughs> it's Leslie Joseph, better known, darling, as Dorian Green, the Queen of Chigwell your favourite Essex girl, wearing my leopard skin machino jacket. Because, Angie Brown, it's your birthday, so happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, darling Angie, happy birthday to you. Now, I must apologise for my singing, darling, because I know that you're a wonderful vocalist. So, um, yeah, that singing was a bit dodgy, but it was happy birthday. It's my version of happy birthday. So, Angie, 60 years old. But don't be depressed because life begins at 60. That's my new mantra. Life begins at 60. Oh my goodness, you're going to have a wonderful year ahead. And don't stop doing anything because I think when you get to 60, you can wear outrageous clothes. You can do outrageous things. And everybody will think you're such a wonderful woman because you're bucking the trend and you're doing whatever you want to do. So... You just enjoy your 60th year. You know, raise a lot of glasses of champagne if that's your drink of choice. It is mine, of course. What are you going to do on your birthday, Angie? Were you going to go out for lunch, for dinner? What are you going to do, darling? Oh, and I have to send my regards also to Mikey and your children. So I assume that you're going to go out with them on your birthday. Or maybe they're going to treat you. Maybe Mikey's going to bring you breakfast in bed. And presents in bed. <laughs> what a wonderful day you're going to have. Anyway, darling, whatever you do, I hope you have the best day ever. 60 years old. It's fantastic. And if you've got nothing else, you can always watch an episode of Birds of a Feather in the evening. What do you think? Angie Brown, lots of love to you. 
huge virtual hug. Happy 60th birthday. And of course, this is from David. Love to you, Mikey, your children. And this is from David and of course me. Happy birthday. Leslie Joseph there from Birds with Other. Ah, it's beautiful around here, I must admit. So I'm now I'm having a butter and coke. Cheers. That's been extremely, you know, extremely, you know, experiencing. The Blackpool Leisure Beach was just the Blackpool Leisure Beach was experiencing. God, I, I probably would go again. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I don't believe it. <laughs> you guess you'd never guess who's just um, turned up at the station. Surprise, honey! Surprise! It's only New York, New York's win. Are you enjoying it? I've got come across the path. Sir. He's trying to get me bloody drunk and stay out. And I'm like, no, I've got bloody. I've got to be back for nine o'clock. <laughs> are, no, are you waiting for your lad? No, I was having dinner at the old house when we were Oh, I see. Hey, you look very stunning. <laughs> there we come. I have had an amazing time at Blackpool. Well, that's it for this series. Keep a look out for the 450. Um, and I'll see what's what after that. All in good time. Time to relax. From me and everybody from Series 15, I'll see you soon. Till the next time. Goodbye. You don't know me.